Okay, the American Academy of Pediatricians updated its guidelines and, and really seriously updated the guidelines. They're talking about early intervention, medical intervention for children that uh, are obese, surgery for kids, uh, kids, teenagers, right? Um, and they're, they're recommending a whole lot of this, but apparently a lot of physicians are not really trained to handle the root causes of obesity. So what is going on with that? Why is there not enough training? Or do you even think that's accurate? Is this, is this accurate to you? Yeah, I mean, you know, this is this is a really complex issue. If I could just say it like that, I think I think you you know you hit a really important point. From uh, from 1980 to 2010, there was an almost threefold in the adult re prevalence of obesity, and more than threefold in children. However, just in 2013, just 10 years ago, Mitch, did the American Medical Association say that this is actually a disease state? Obesity is an, a, a disease state that deserves treatment plans and prevention strategies. Now, I think that there is a lot of reason for that. I don't get taught that in, in medical school. And although I went to medical school quite a long time ago, think about the estimates that are out there. I just read this, right? We spend about 10 hours on obesity education in medical school. I probably spent 30,000 hours uh, in medical school, Mitch, you know, and that's a little nostalgia plus a little bit of PTS, right? Um, and, and, and there's a reason for that. I think that part of the reason I don't learn it in medical school as a medical student is because if the AMA just called it a disease state 10 years ago, it's not going to show up on my board exam. If it's not on my board exam, it's not in my medical school curriculum. Why? Because the medical schools get to brag that, hey, listen, 95% of our students pass the boards on the first try, and that's how they get their reputations. If it's not on the boards, I'm not going to learn it in medical school. Well, Dr. That's Montgomery, though, it, it is considered a disease now. It's almost uh, akin to having, you know, cancer. It's you're kind of removing the blame uh, for people that maybe you just looked at them and said, well, you're obese and it's your fault. Uh, and, and that certainly isn't right. But obesity is a precursor to so many chronic conditions. Why would it not from the beginning be part of treatment uh, or at least sorry, yeah. training? because it is a problem for type two diabetes and high blood pressure and all kinds of things. Yeah, heart disease, brain disease, all of these things. I think that, and, and I'm happy to debate this. This is my opinion on this. One of the reasons why we still haven't considered it as a disease state that it is really um, as a profession is because of an underlying, although unconscious, stigma and bias that we still have as professionals against people with obesity, right? Think about this. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. I can't believe that you're obese. I can't believe that you're letting this happen to yourself is still, despite the science arguing against this, it's not just a nutritional disease, calories in, calories out. It's a psycho-emotional disease. It's not just a genetic disease. It's a disease of addiction. And we don't think about it in the same way we do as these other, uh, these other conditions that we could name in those categories. And because of that, we haven't moved it into the place where it should be that deserves all of our attention. And I think that's part of the problem. Uh, well, Dr. Dave Montgomery, thank you so much. We know we'll see you again soon. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.